Hello everyone. Merry Christmas. Today is, I guess, technically maybe the first Christmasy video on my channel. I did a QA and a in front of my Christmas tree. Kaylin is finishing up putting on her makeup. She just got off of work recently. Um, and we are at Disney Springs. We are about to go and have dinner. And then we are going to do the Christmas tree trail. There's some sort of maybe not scavenger hunt, but some sort of holiday hunt that maybe we will do. I don't really know a thing about it. Do you? Nope. Perfect. We're at least going to do the Christmas tree trail. Um, it's called the Christmas tree stroll this year. So sorry, the Christmas tree stroll. Big, well, because it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not a trail. Yeah. So <laughs> normally, um, and like the back of Springs, they have like an actual trail that you walk through. There's like 20 something trees and it's all like one big trail. But because of COVID, they are doing, I guess, a Christmas tree stroll. And I think they have like most of the same trees. They're just all over, I almost said all over the park, all over <laughs> Disney Springs um, to obviously like keep everything distant. So yeah. We're gonna take you along. We're gonna have dinner. It's gonna be a good time. It's Christmas. Christmassy at least. So we're sitting at dinner and there's some little roller skaters, like ice skaters. How fun. <laughs> so this year, if you've ever done like the Ratatouille hide and squeak and that kind of stuff that they do at the festivals at Epcot, they have basically the same thing for the Christmas tree stroll. So we have this little book. We got it from um, the House of Blues gift shop because we had dinner right here at City Works, so it was close. So this one looks like it shows you where all the trees are. We have stickers that you check off when you find the trees. Let's go. We found our second tree. What is it, Bron? Haunted Mansion, my least favorite ride. Haunted Mansion, this one's a little bit scary. Just the bride. Yeah. We're putting a sticker on there? What's the sticker for this one? Madame Leo. There you go, that's cool, yeah. Another tree, and I, she starts running. It's interesting. There's Where, no Elsa on it. Where's, yeah, where are Anna or Elsa or Olaf or anyone? It's on it. I think that's why I called her. All right. Put the frozen sticker on our map. I'm such a hey, fake fan. No, we just looked at the I was like, what tree is it? She's like, I don't know. There's a bear on top. No, it's the Lion King. Okay, that looks like a bear. It looks like Simba to me. How, okay, now that I zoom in, I can see that it it's Rafiki like Simba. Yeah. holding Simba. But from way out here, it looks like a bear. Okay. Putting it on? Yeah. Good job. Look at all the fun Christmas apples, a candy cauldron. Those are cutie. They're so which cute. One, which one would you eat if you got one? Santa. Really? Yeah. There's more over here. I think they're the same though. Oh, they got like a whole little display. Oh, Cute. Impressive. Yeah. <gasps> Look at all those. I would want the peppermint one. Yes. <laughs> Snowing! Oh, gee, I did not know it snowed here. I wish, wish that you could have heard the, the audible, audible gasp, gasp I, I just made. I think everyone on the other side of Disney Springs heard. It's it's not snowing in Magic Kingdom this year, right? No, it is not. But it's snowing at Disney Springs. That's so fun and magical. It's snowing. So this sure looks like a Fantasia oh, yeah. tree to me. Yeah, it's Fantasia. Okay, well there's no. But Fantasia there's no Fantasia. I guess we'll leave it blank. Because I don't think it's Mickey and Minnie, because I know there's a Mickey and Minnie tree. There's just like a, a Christmas tree sticker there, but... I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it either. I, I think we'll hold it. off. We'll hold off. It says on the sign, Dear guests, for the Fantasia Christmas tree, please place the sticker of Baloo on your map. So Baloo goes... Why? I don't know. That's so random. Yeah. Do you think they messed it up? I don't think Do they messed think it up. They probably just didn't have a Fantasia sticker. Do you think they ordered the wrong stickers and then were like, ooh, let's just add something that Instead of a Jungle Book here. tree. Next tree, it's Mulan. I think this one's, I don't know if it's new. You know, I think it would be really artsy if you got a shot of the Mulan tree with the Mulan poster behind it in the background. 
Wow. Wow, art. Art. <laughs> Photography is my passion. There's a Milan sticker, right? Yeah. yeah, you got it. Look at that glow of the Christmas tree. Yay! Getting them done. Next is Star Wars. Always disappointed with the Star Wars tree. I feel like they could do so much more for it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I do like the lightsaber at the top, though. I think that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's fun. But the rest of it's lame. Good job. They have such like simple decorations here, but I think it just looks so nice. It does. Very like classic passionate. Christmas decor. We love a classic Christmas. It's cute. We found the Mickey and Minnie tree. It looks very mini. Too. Yeah, it has a lot of bows on it. And a it. lot of polka dots. Yeah. Right across from Mickey and Minnie, we got Pluto. You have to be right next to his crown. I know, it's cute. I like his. It has like little dog bowls and stuff on it. Cute. I don't even know if you can tell yet, but we're headed to the east side of Springs and it's snowing over here too. Oh, the big tree. Yeah. Ah, so magical. It's the big tree. This one's like extra tall and it's snowing. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's <laughs> Seriously, it's snowing in like all four corners. We got the big old Christmas tree. So magical, so Christmas. Whoa. Whoa. These are cool. Little like color changing ornaments in the trees. Fun. These remind me of how Main Street used to look. Before Maleficent. Yeah. <laughs> they're so pretty. I'm a sucker for some garland with some lights in it. So nice. We went into Uniqlo to see if they had any like Christmas t-shirts. Because I feel like they normally do. They didn't have any. So we're gonna okay. try and go in wad. We're gonna see how crazy the line is. We are waiting in line right now to get into World of Disney. The line honestly wasn't that bad. It starts like over behind the basin. Um, we've been in line for what, maybe five minutes? Yeah, the, move, the line moves quick. We'll be in soon. Oh, and we don't even, it's not like how it was at Halloween. We're just going in this door. Oh, wow. Perfect. So yeah, we'll be like in a five like, minute wait. And seriously. Super long. Yeah. So get in line. Get in line. It's worth it. It is Christmas time and we're out at Disney. So fun. hardly see me but we shopped around a little bit we found another tree oh it's the Toy Story tree what is that on top um not sure some kind of toy it looks like Hello Kitty Loki yeah I don't know what that is but the rest of it is definitely Toy Story yeah the sheriff badge there's the aliens the green alien. yeah it's cute saw that used to be a happy holidays from Elsa and friends Aw, that's sad um, you can't come to Disney Springs during Christmas time and not go into the 12 Days of Christmas shop. So that's where we are headed now. It's the final tree, Princess and the Frog. Very Mardi Gras. I know all about it now. There's beads in it. You do. What are they? Beads? Necklaces. Roman calls beads necklaces, which is I very do. cute. We're going on the map. Yay. We got them all. We did it. Is there a prize? Yeah. What is it? I'm not sure yet. All right. It was free, so I can't guarantee it'll be any good. Well, we'll see. They came into Amaretz to get some treats. How pretty. Lots of yummy things. I wanted to try this one, but it has cream cheese filling, not a lot of cream cheese. All right, this is a peppermint chocolate creme brulee of some kind. This one is a little Mickey dome cake, and it has chocolate mousse and maybe something else in it. I don't remember. Look how fun and fancy. And we got Starbucks. Peppermint white hot chocolate always. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, that's good. You don't love it. You don't like it? It's white chocolate mousse and it has a chocolate cake like bottom. You wanna see? Okay. We do wanna see. Hold on. That slaps. 
Can you see? There's chocolate cake, some mousse, and then this like weird jelly on the outside. Pass the vibe check. Creme brulee gets a zero out of five Santa hats for me. The little Mickey dome also probably gets a solid four out of five Santa hats. It's pretty dang good. Last stop for some Christmassy treats. Yummy. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Disney Springs, an overwhelming time right now. Ignore my messy back seat. I need to bring it in from moving, okay? Don't yell. We finished the Christmas tree trail, as you saw, and you get a little, like, prize with it. Not um, that you didn't pay any money. No, it was free, so I was like, that's crazy, they give you a prize? Um, but it's these fun little buttons. Fun little Christmas tree stroll 2020 buttons. Um, super fun. Also, on the, like, little booklet that they give you, there is tons and tons of coupons for like all places in Disney Springs, which is pretty cool. It's a lot of the operating participants, right? It's not the Disney owned Yeah, operated. it's not the Disney places. It's everything else, basically. It's pretty um, cool. So yeah, we got that, and we got two of the little Christmas tree stroll buttons. Yeah. I wanted to show you these that I bought because I tried filming it earlier, but it was just loud and overwhelming, but I wanted to show these off because they're cute. So I have a little gallery wall in my room with a bunch of these little like Disney prints that I got from, some are from the Wonderground Gallery at the co-op, some are from Festival of the Arts. I think it's all kind of the same thing, right? I mean, yeah, it's the, like the Disney booth so. at Festival of the Arts. Maybe one day, if we are all so lucky, Bronwyn will release the vlog of her moving and she'll show us all. I'm not gonna do it till my apartment is done and it's not done yet. Well, maybe one day we'll all get to see the gallery wall featuring all of these beautiful pieces. Yeah, all right, so this is the first one. It's little baby Moana and Grandma Tala, which is super cute. We've got this one, which is the I See the Light scene from Tangled. Obviously, had to get Cinderella, RIP um, my job. I'm not the biggest Up fan, but I thought this one was really cute. It's got like Carl and Ellie with all the heart balloons. This one, I'm not gonna put on my gallery wall because it's landscape and all the other ones have our portrait, but it's Tia and Lottie, and I don't know if you can tell, but in the little window in the back, it shows them when they're little, like playing dress up. It's like their reflection of yeah. baby Tia and Lottie. It's very cute. Which I cute. think is so cute. This one, classic, Olaf and Bruni, not sure. I have a couple frozen ones, so I'm not sure how I don't have this one yet, but I got Because it. I think every time we've been to the Wonderground Gallery, they didn't have it in that size. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I know I had seen it reason. before, yeah. Obviously had to get the Country Bears one, how could I not? This one is really cool. It has all of the like dresses, costumes, wardrobe of the women of Star Wars. And then the last one I got is this one, which is um, Miguel and Dante from Coco. I think I got some cute ones. Hopefully they'll look cute on my wall. I got $60 worth for 30 bucks, so. We love a cast discount. Yep. Um, we also. Gotta use it while you can. Yeah, we went to the Ganachery, Ganachery, um, and got six little chocolates. We only planned to get two, and then we got six. So we haven't tried any yet. You wanna try some? Sure, why not? A bougie magnetic box. Mm -hmm. There's a, I don't know which one is which, but there's orange gingerbread, eggnog, raspberry, mint, and peanut butter. So another thing that I wanted to mention about the Christmas tree trail that I didn't love I think the idea of the stroll was cute. I liked that we had the little um, like guidebook to follow around and kind of direct you where you're supposed to go. Uh, the holiday hunt that they are advertising did not see a single thing about that. What is that? There's some scavenger hunt. I saw it on Disney Parks blog. Did not see any of that. Um, but I don't even know what that is. one of the things that I didn't like about the stroll is normally on the trees, they're decorated with uh, ornaments from the days of Christmas, like Christmas shop. And they advertise, it's like, you can get all of these ornaments at this shop. But the reason is because like before when it was the Christmas tree trail, you were like right up on the Christmas tree. Whereas now it's like in the middle of like a planter. It's far away. So you wouldn't even really be able to see it anyway. I agree yeah, with you. Still. I agree with you, but I think that's probably why. So yeah, I wish they would have had that. I also feel like they didn't pick their strongest trees. Like well, where was Cinderella's tree? Or like which, Beauty and the Beast. I feel like Norm, I don't know which ones I would have wanted them to have, but I felt like they weren't like their best trees. 
I was gonna ask you which is your favorite tree. Not from today, just in general. I don't remember. Mary Poppins? No. I feel like you liked Mary Poppins a lot last year. Uh, no, I know what my favorite one is. Peter Pan. They did not have that one. They like, yeah, it was like all the classic ones they didn't have. It was like random. Okay, honestly though, it was like all of my favorite things. Mulan is my favorite princess. Lion King is my favorite movie. I love Sorcerer Mickey. I love Star Wars. Yeah. It was really a collection of Caitlin's favorites. That's what it was this year. Yeah. Okay, the three best parts of my evening were, um, like I just said, the trees were like all of my favorite things and my favorite characters. So I personally enjoyed the selection of trees. Second best part of my day was the treats from Amaret's Patisserie. Those were both really good. The third best part of my day, but really my favorite part of the day, was dinner. Because Bron took me to a nice dinner at a place that we had never been before. I thought it was a nice dinner. <laughs> I thought it was nice. It was a sports bar. It was still a lovely time. And the food was good. The drinks were good. Yeah. Neither of us had ever been there before. So it was, it was a great time. Yeah. The three best parts of my night were going to dinner because this place hadn't been and I had a nice pineapple cider, which I very much enjoyed. Um, the second best part was getting to see all of the like Christmas um, merchandise because I hadn't seen any of that stuff yet other than like online and such. I guess I saw a little bit of Epcot, but they didn't have a ton. Um, and then my third best part of the day was getting to see all of the Christmas decor. I liked the trees, but I also just like, there's a lot of like garlands and like light posts that are wrapped in lights. And I just thought it was a nice little time. Yeah. And they had the entertainment, the, yeah. Well, I mean, it was a well, nice we'll something. We'll loosely use that. Yeah. It was, it was street atmosphere kind of stuff. Yeah. The ice so skaters cute. and the, yeah, the stilt walker nutcracker guys. Yeah. It was fun. Fun times. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Just a little quick trip to Disney Springs. It's Christmas time in Disney World, ladies. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time on Once Upon a Bron. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Christmas time on Once Upon a Bron. Seriously. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you again real soon. Bye.